Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Let's check out a couple of more momentum stock picks that Mike Vodica, our momentum stock strategist from Zax.com has uh, brought by these parts. Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, one of them, uh, GMCR, the ticker symbol. Of course, that's a familiar name in the coffee yeah. roasting space. It We're is. High atop those Green Mountains. <laughs> yeah, this is a name that we've talked about a couple times before, um, and that's just be simply because this has been a momentum high flyer for the last year or so. A uh, company continues to beat on earnings, and then their share price jumps every quarter. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually just w exactly what we just saw with their uh, second quarter results from July 27th. Uh, they grew their revenue 127% year over year. Wow. Yeah, so more than doubled, which is really impressive. And um, the strong results are being driven by two things. Number one is the Keurig brewing system. Um, in that capacity, sales were up 66%. But then even more impressive was their individual brew packets. Uh, the sales of those were up 136% to 485 million. So that's where the bulk of their revenue comes from. But both products are very strong, very hot right now. The individual packets for the brewing system. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Sort yeah. of a one-two punch for this company. Yep. Um, we did see a little bit of movement off the good quarter. Uh, the current year added 18 cents to $1.65. The the next year estimate is extremely bullish. Uh, it's pegged at $2.60, and that's a 58% growth projection. Uh, from the valuation perspective here, uh, Green Mountain gets talked about as being an expensive stock. If you just look at the forward PE multiple, then yeah, it does look pricey. But if you look at the valuation relative to their growth projection, uh, it looks much more reasonably repriced. And the peg ratio, which is what I'm talking about, is 0.88. And that's below one, which is considered a benchmark for value. So in terms of growth, this actually looks like reasonably priced right now. It's going to be interesting to see how they perform um since uh, the Duncan IPO. Good point. Uh, it seems to me that the Duncan IPO kind of just put a bid into the whole coffee sector, so yeah. it seems like it's helped them a little bit so far, but longer term competition. Right. Uh, getting into the chart here is, like I said before, we, we saw shares jump higher into a new all-time high on the good quarter and uh, a plenty of upward momentum right now. Okay. Patterson UTI Energy, P-T-E-N, is the ticker on this one. Uh, it's an energy company. It's a drilling services contractor. We've talked about this one before, too. Yeah, we have. Uh, this space has been really hot. The, uh, the domestic onshore explorers, um, the exploration and production companies are capitalizing on $100 crude and uh, a lot of the, sh the nat gas shale plays. So these companies are seeing really strong demand right now. Uh, that showed up in the company's second quarter results also in late July. Uh, the company saw sales, again, almost double year over year to $600 million. Uh, earnings came in ahead of expectations. The company has an average earnings surprise of 9% over the last four quarters. And kind of backtracking to what I said before is that uh, it's a simple matter of supply and demand. Demand mm -hmm. is very strong for these right now, and we saw that show up in the quarter, which is great. How long do you think that's going to last, or is there any way of telling? Yeah, that's a good, the good question. Is uh, A lot of uh, analysts have been asking them that, and they said that they don't see the cycle slowing down in the near term. They think it's going to continue at least in, through the end of 2011 and through the first half of 2012. So wow. the, the medium-term outlook pretty, look, looks pretty bullish for these companies right now. Yeah. Uh, kind of getting into estimates here, as we saw a little bit of movement, not a whole lot off the quarter. Uh, current year added two cents to two sixteen. Uh, the next year estimate added six cents to two dollars and seventy six cents. That's a twenty eight percent growth projection, so that's pretty solid. Uh, valuation looks good, fifteen times forward. That's a discount to the, its peers, which are trading at seventeen times forward. And then finally, moving into the chart is uh, we did see a new high off the good quarter. Um, it's thirty four oh nine, and again. We have some nice upward momentum here in uh, Patterson UTI. Okay. And do you own either of these two? No, I don't. All right. If you have not been over to Zax.com yet to check out other stock pick ideas that we put up there for you daily, then by all means do so. Some of the uh, people who watch these videos access them from outside of our website, Zax.com. But on the homepage, we put four new uh, stock pick ideas up for you daily, one in each of the investing categories that's written about on Zax.com, Mike's included. With Mike Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.